What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Just got up, let the puppies out. <sighs> it's a nice day out today. I don't know why there's a garbage can in the middle of the yard. <laughs> so, today is Sunday, and I'm sure we'll have our regular stuff at the store today, but we did also agree on a few large trade-ins, one of which is a collection. Uh, there's still all the logistics to work out with like shipping and all that because it's a lot of stuff. But we've agreed on a price and we have an amazing collection coming. Like I said, I'm not sure exactly when, but it will be coming in. There's going to be some stuff um, I'm sure that I want for my personal collection, but there's a lot of really good stuff for the store. Um, some really, like, multiple really, really rare games. Um, some stuff that I already have, too, so there's there's plenty of good stuff for the store. I'm very excited about that. I will give you guys updates when I have them. Uh, but so far, we've agreed on a price. Just have to figure out shipping. It might have to come, like, on pallets because there's so much stuff. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys up to date on that. I'm going to head into the store. Abby and Ryan will join me a little bit later. I'm going in a little bit early once again to work on stuff. But today should be a good day. All right, guys. So we've been at the store for a while now. Yo. Ryan's here. Yeah. Jesse's here. Abby's in the back right now. And we have lots of trade-ins so far. Oh, can't forget this one. Oh, yeah. This <laughs> the best trade. Okay. So how has today been, Ryan? It's been pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I got some... Got a little bit of trades for you to look at. <laughs> it hasn't been super busy, but it has been pretty steady. Um, I don't even know what time it is. It's got to be at least like 4.30. It's 5, I think. Yeah? It's 5.17. 5.17. <laughs> even better. So we got a little bit of time left. I'm going to try to stay late tonight and get the... I'm going to start working on that 3DS collection that we got traded in, or that we that got mailed in. A lot of people are waiting for those to go on the website, so I'm going to try to work on that tonight. I don't think I'll completely finish it, but I'll at least get partway through. Um, and if I don't finish it, it's not going to go on the website. I have to complete the entire thing before they will upload. So I might be able to get through half of it tonight, but that doesn't mean that they'll be on the website. That'll have to wait until I'm actually completely done. So let's take a look at these trades. There is some really good stuff in here. First up, we have an indigo gamecube it's got some scratches and stuff but overall it's not too bad also a black wii system was traded in we have a a black game boy advance sp 001 two regular game boy advances traded in we just got one of these cases in the other day and i priced it at 10 and it sold on the website immediately so we have a second one that came in that's the game i'm going to show you guys last Put it in the comments. What do you think that is? <laughs> we have Metroid Fusion, WWF Road to WrestleMania, and Monster Inc. Finding Nemo Double Pack. We have a couple Halo 2 different strategy guides here. We have a Sega Genesis Mini. The guy actually bought this from us, and he called today. He bought it in, like, February. He said he never played it once, <laughs> and he's moving and just needed to get rid of some stuff. So he brought that back, and we bought it back from him. Then we have Street Fighter 2010. Zelda 2 Adventure of Link, the gold, or not the gold, the gray version. We have Super Metroid. Awesome to get that. Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. Super Mario Maker. And Ocarina of Time. Then we have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Ratchet and Clank. Jack 2. Jack and Daxter Precursor Legacy. Ratchet and Clank Going Commando and Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. A lot of those ones do not have manuals right there. Then we have these two big stacks. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Revelations, Halo 2, Halo Reach, Spider-Man for GameCube, New Super Mario Bros., uh, excuse me, for the DS, Mass Effect, Final Fantasy 7, and Final Fantasy 8, NCAA Football 12, Zone of the Enders HD Collection, Metro Last Light, Battlefield 3, Borderlands pre-sequel, NCAA 13, Grand Theft Auto 4, The Orange Box, Kanan Lynch Dead Men, Grand Theft Auto 5, Mass Effect 3, Hitman Absolution, another Tony Hawk 4, Call of Duty Finest Hour, BMX Triple X, Bioshock 2, 
Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Dark Souls 2, Hunted, and Haunted. Command and Conquer. Hunted. Haunted. No. Haunted. It's Hunted. Haunted. Wii Sports. The store is haunted. <laughs> Mario Kart Double Dash. <laughs> Dino Crisis 2. There's some good stuff in here. Oh Metroid Prime. Vice City. The other Shadow game. of the Colossus. Yes, San Andreas. <laughs> Rampage Total Destruction. <laughs> Resident Evil 4. Hello. Sonic Mega Collection. Delta Force Black Hawk Down. Halo Combat Evolved. Shrek Gun. Halo 2. Another Halo. 13. Playboy the Mansion. Shrek 2. World War 2 Combat. Another Halo 2. Why are there so many Halos in here? There's like six of them. I'm an angel and I need Silent Hill. No. <laughs> Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 4. Full Spectrum Warrior. Project Gotham Racing. Splinter Cell. Sims Bustin' Out. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Manhunt. Uh, no manual on this one. I know some people are going to be interested. Jaws Unleashed. San Andreas. Uh, X-Men 3. And Watch Dogs. And Hello. you might have noticed a cut in the clip right there because we had a customer come in and he traded in a boxed blue Game Boy Advance SP. Which I'm cleaning up right now. There's the price. price. It's not on the website, so. <laughs> yeah, co consoles don't go on the website. Um, Ryan's cleaning it. It also came with a charger and then this like weird third party GameCube to Game Boy Advance connector cable. And then he gave us this receiver for the WaveBird because he traded in the WaveBird last week and he told me he had the receiver he just forgot to bring it so we finally have that let's see the game boy ain't it party looks real nice it does look really nice let's see the top uh geez. oh ryan tiny bit of scratch ryan I, I didn't get to that ryan part. Broke it. <laughs> actually i don't think it's really gonna change yeah but still the box has some some tearing on the back the artwork um, looks like there might have been like a piece of tape across it or something. And the prices for sold listings are ridiculously like all over the place. Some of them are as low as 70. Some of them, some of them are as high as almost 200. So I didn't really know what to do. It's kind of worn. So I priced it in the middle. We got a hundred bucks. That's actually towards the lower end. <laughs> and then the last one we have to show you, there might be more trades coming in before we close. But for right now, this is the last one. Someone posted this in one of the local Facebook groups with a price, and I said, if that price is shipped, I'll take it, and they said, I can just deliver it to you if you want, and I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> so they brought it by the store. They also traded in a bunch of this stuff and this GameCube, but this was the main thing that I was after. I paid their asking price, and that is a copy of Worms Armageddon for the Nintendo 64. Legit copy. I tested it. I opened it. It's all good to go. It does have a little bit of something on the label right there. I couldn't seem to wipe it off, and you can't use goof off on an N64 label. It'll just turn turn it white. So I can't get that off. There was a bunch of sticker residue on the top, which I was able to clean, and it looks pretty good overall. So very, very nice condition copy. Awesome to have this for the store. It's been quite a while since we've had one. All right, guys, we are closed now. Abby and I are staying late. Well, I'll probably, yeah, I'll be staying later than Abby. She's got to go let the dogs out and stuff. But this is the last little bit of trades here that we have from today. We have a 4 gig OEM Vita memory card. A complete copy of Donkey Kong for the 2600. The box is pretty worn on this one, though. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Sonic Mega Collection. A Super Game Boy. And then we have some Japanese DS games. These are so hard to price. There's a couple of each posted on eBay, but barely any sold. Um, some of them are posted for like $30, $40. I don't think they're worth that. So I just priced the majority of them at 10 and one of them at 15. And I was able to get all the names just by searching or by scanning the UPC code on eBay. So we have this one. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce them. Most of them are puzzle games. This is the only one. This is like some RPG. It actually looks pretty cool. But this is the only one that I priced a little bit higher. And that was based on sold listings. This one, this one where you draw an elephant, and this one which looks like an anime game, but it's like a knockoff of like Nintendo Dogs or something. So those are all the trades. Abby just entered a bunch of stuff. Tags are printing right now, but we have Atari games and this stuff stacked right here, and then this 
and this, which is an extra. This one has a big rip on the back. You can see it right there. But other than that, it's in pretty good shape. So we're gonna get that stuff stickered. Abby's gonna head home. And we also have some strategy guys here we need to enter. These are not from today. You guys have, well, those two are. These are from, you know, previous weeks. We just haven't gotten to them yet. So Abby's going to head home here pretty soon. I'm going to stay and work on the handheld collection that got traded in. Like I said, I don't know if I'll finish it, but I'll get as much done as I can. All right, guys, before I head home, I'm going to show you what I have worked on. It's getting pretty late. It's 948. We close at 7, so I've been here for almost three extra hours. Um, tomorrow is Monday. That's the day that I really, really plan on staying late because we have a lot of stuff to still do. But tonight, what I did, the handheld collection we got in the other day, this is what I have entered from that so far, these three stacks. So all of the 3DS, all of the original DS, and the little bit of PSP that was there. This box is what I have left to do. So all the Xbox, the Xbox 360, the controllers, the loose PSP, and then all the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy. There's a couple Wii remotes and stuff like that. Um, but for the most part, I did all the rest. Abby and I picked out a few games from that collection that we wanted to keep for our personal collection. Um, so I guess I might as well just go ahead and show you guys those now. I haven't been showing you a lot of the stuff that I keep, but I've already showed these games, um, obviously, when we opened it. So I guess I'll show you those right now. We decided not to keep a ton. I actually had a bigger stack, and I took some stuff out because I felt bad that... I felt bad about a couple of them because, like, I have a sealed copy at home, but I don't have an opened copy. And I was like, you know, I'm fine with having just one for now. I'm not focusing on 3DS or DS, so I can get a lot of them later. The ones that I ended up keeping um, are just games that I never see. So I opted to keep some of the more uncommon, cheaper games than some of the more expensive ones that you see and are more popular. So let's take a look at these. I'll point out which ones I wanted and which ones Abby wanted. So first up is the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, I just decided to hold on to this because it is sealed. Uh, the seal has a bunch of scratches and stuff, so it's not perfect. But um, we don't really collect PS4. Abby has some collector's editions, and she has some games. Um, that is her collection, though. I don't consider that part of part of like my collection. Um, so, But this one, it's Final Fantasy VII. When I do start collecting PS4, and I think eventually, sometime in the future, I probably will. This is one that I think will be cool to have, so that's why we're holding on to it. We have the music disc and the little art book for the Langris here. I don't know if this came in like a big box or anything. I haven't looked into it at all. I guess if it did, you guys can let me know, but I, I do have the game in the stack here, so I figured those should probably go with it. Mega Man 5 Battle Network. Never, ever see this game. Story of Seasons, Abby wanted this one. The Pokemon Black 2, this is a factory sealed copy. My plan for this, actually, I think, because it's in pretty good shape, it's got that one little dent right there you guys can see. But other than that, it's really, really nice. There's no little holes in the edges or anything. So my plan for this actually is to get it graded and then try to sell it. So when you look at price charts, and obviously price charts is not really accurate for stuff like this, but... A sealed copy is like 180 and then the couple graded copies that are on there are like 400 So if I can pay 30 bucks to get it graded and sell it for twice the price, there's no reason not to do that. Whether you like or dislike getting games graded, if the intent of the game like this is to sell anyway, why not sell it for, you know, as much as you can? So the person that might be interested in a sealed copy ungraded is probably someone who would want to get it graded themselves and then sell it or keep it or whatever. So um, that's the plan for that. I have a few other games at home that I was going to get graded as well. So I'll probably do another order. Um, I'll probably send in another another package here soon. Also, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, another sealed one. Uh, a couple PSP games that were sealed. We don't have a ton of or PS Vita games, sorry. We don't have a ton of Vita games in the collection already. Both, Neither of these games I have ever seen before, and they just happen to be sealed, so why not? The Sega 3D Classics Collection, Abby wanted this one. Lord of Magna, 
I've just never seen this game either. I don't know if it's expensive or not. I didn't even look it up. It's just a game that I've never seen. And it's obviously some sort of RPG, so gotta hold on to it. Uh, same with Langris here. Never see it. Pokemon Rumble World. Abby wanted this one. And then these... Well, the next two were like big box ones that we just don't have. And anything with a big box, you guys know I'm a sucker for. So, Etrian Odyssey 2, Untold the... I don't know what that says. Fafnir. Fafnir Knight. And then Etrian Mystery Dungeon. This one has the plastic on it as well, which you guys know I love. Um, so, I believe with these, I have every Etrian Odyssey game for the 3DS. Lastly, it's just Yokai Watch 2, uh, Bony Spirits, uh, another sealed one. So, as you guys can probably tell, if you remember what was in the collection... I did not keep the majority of, like, the hard-to-find or expensive ones. Um, well, hard-to-find maybe, but not expensive. Um, there was a bunch of Shin Megami Tensei games in here that are, like, over that $100 mark, which is crazy. There's a couple other games over the $100 mark as well. This one is kind of cool because this, it was actually just both games in the Steelbook, but we had the extra box for it and then two regular cases to complete it. So this is a fully complete set now. The Fire Emblem uh, Fates, I thought, was complete, but then after looking at it, it's actually missing the... Um, there's supposed to be like a soft pouch to like, like a carrying pouch for the actual system. That's missing, which I didn't realize. Not a huge deal, though. That's probably the most expensive one out of everything here is that, uh, that, that Fire Emblem. And then I did all these as well. I'm not going to show you everything. But just I was just showing you the spines here to, to remind you guys that there are plenty of really, really awesome games in here. So this stuff is done, but it's not on the website. It's not technically imported yet. I have an import that I am working on, and I have saved it, and I'm going to continue it tomorrow. So... The day that you see this video is hopefully the day that this stuff will go on the website, but it's not going to be right away. You're probably going to want to look, if you're watching this video the day that I upload it, look tonight at like 9 p.m., 8 to 9 p.m., you know, uh, Pacific time, West Coast time. If you're on the East Coast, I would say look sometime between like 11 and midnight. Um, so, yeah, so that's that. I'm going to get home, guys. I'm pretty tired. I'm really hungry. And, uh, yeah, today was a pretty good day. I am not going to take the packages today because I know for a fact the mailman's going to be coming tomorrow and he will take them with him. It's better than trying to stuff all this stuff into the Dropbox. That big one wouldn't even fit in the Dropbox anyway. So, time to head home. So, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, of course, please do not forget to smack the like button. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. I'll see you guys again tomorrow.